with the GPU market being so insane during the last year that certain companies take advantage of this demand to push crappy products onto gamers, such as the bundles that were packed with GPUs. We're gonna talk about some examples that were really not very nice at all. So let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to stay subscribed, then smash that like button if you like content like this. So let's talk about what happened during the last year. And I'm not just talking about the GPU pricing and availability and scalpers and miners and everything that we are pretty used to talking about. We're gonna talk about specifically when times are really difficult, when a situation presents itself that there's very little availability, the prices are high, will some companies kind of put forth unfriendly practices towards consumers. We're going to use a few major examples. First is going to be one that's been in the news recently. Gamers Nexus has done some extensive research on a particular PSU from Gigabyte that was bundled with a lot of GPUs that were sold by Newegg. This particular power supply had a major issue where it actually catches on fire. Definitely not something you want anywhere near your GPU, your system, or anything for that matter. So that goes to show you, okay, Newegg, and a lot of people complained about this with other items that weren't necessarily exploding, but basically it would come down to maybe, you know, crappy motherboard and other crappy components that these retailers just wanted to sell. And they took advantage of the fact that people will buy GPUs at inflated prices, which therefore means that they'll buy a GPU that has these bundled items as long as the price kind of stays within a reasonable type of range. Now, these companies for the most part can't just outright inflate the price to you know twice or three times the price like we see scalpers on the second hand market do in some cases they will definitely up this price to a very uncomfortable level and a lot of times they'll get flack for it online people will complain etc but i think they decided that a cleaner way to have more revenue and sell more of these items that they really can't sell is to pair them with a you know very desirable gpu if you're going to put a 3080 for sale you know it's going to sell immediately especially if it's close to msrp so why not pair a crappy keyboard one of these really terrible power supplies or any other item that's been sitting in your warehouse and you know people are going to buy it then it's not really your problem what you're going to do with these because you can't return just these items if you return those items you have to return the gpu as well so even though it may make sense if you're building a computer and you buy a gpu you get a motherboard with it and a power supply you may think that's justifiable because it's parts you're going to need anyway Way, but not really. The reason that we build our own PCs is to be able to individually select all of the components that we want. And most of these components, as is evident by the power supply that was packed with these, are really, you know, in many cases, terrible, somewhat dangerous, subpar products that we would never buy if it came to our own decision. So this is definitely an example of very poor consumer practice, basically just taking advantage of the entire GPU situation to push these products that are really not good. Now, things like this certainly do not help push over, you know, long-term goodwill towards the company. I'm sure, let's say in a year from now, if GPU stock is better, people may remember that there used to be really bad power supplies sort of bundled with these GPUs, and they may possibly go somewhere else. If demand stays high, as the companies have foreseen, it may not really matter because to get a GPU, you may have to buy whatever the company is going to bundle with anyway, but it is certainly unfortunate because it's a very poor consumer practice. Now, other companies will be guilty of doing this as well. Well, and at least this is better of some reports of some, you know, third party companies that were selling GPUs and took a lot of pre-orders and then in the end ended up never producing any GPUs at all and maybe went bankrupt or have certain issues. There were some cases like that. And of course, that's worse because at least in the case of Newegg, you are going to get your GPU if you're able to get it. You are going to get that crappy bundled power supply, but at least you do have something for your money you know, compared to some companies that just flat out disappear. So the point of this video is that the consumer really have to protect themselves. In a lot of cases, these companies will try to push products that you don't really want. And if you need a GPU and you really want it, and it's the only one you're going to be able to find, you may not really have much of a choice but play their game. Of course, some people will say that they outright won't pay, you know, a scalper. They're not going to uh, pay for these bundles if it's too expensive. 
but a lot of people in the desperation of the times will actually end up buying one of these bundles so of course it's up to your own personal decision but a little bit too it's up on the responsibility of these companies to put forth a good consumer experience because even though they're selling a lot of stuff now if there's ever a change and a downturn and not as many gpus being sold companies that really treat their customers well people remember and people come back and that's a very important point it won't be everybody but you'll have enough people to definitely make a difference so that's why i hope as times are still a little bit tough for gpu stock and availability that companies continue to take care of their customers and not try to package and bundle together really poor performing hardware with hardware that they know will definitely sell that definitely doesn't look too good and it really doesn't trick anybody at all we can see right through it it just leaves consumers with no choice and just in the situation that they have to buy these subpar products so let me know down below if you've seen any other examples like this of really poor consumer practices there certainly are great examples of different companies that have done the right thing on the part of the consumer throughout this whole shortage so they're certainly out there but you definitely have to be careful and try to avoid pitfalls like this because they're certainly out there and there are companies and people looking to take advantage of the situation all right guys so remember to subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video